Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have a special coin for you from the Philippines. The 1937 one centavo coin. Uh, the first coins produced after the Philippines became a commonwealth of the United States rather than a part of the United States. So the Philippines on its way to independence became a commonwealth in 1936 and this was one of the first coins issued. So let's blow it up a little bit and let's flip it over and let's take a look at it. Now if you look at the obverse or the front you still see that it says United States of America on here and then we have the year down here 1937 but what's hard to see if we blow it up here it says the Philippines it says Commonwealth of the Philippines it's hard to see this on this coin because it's a little tiny bit worn but look at this one so you can see where it says Commonwealth here of the Philippines that's what it says here Commonwealth this is the first coin that said Commonwealth of the Philippines and it was the start of their independence. There's another thing that's very very interesting on here and that is there's a mint mark and many of you have never seen this mint mark here it's a mint marked M. That is from the Manila Mint so in 1937 when they started producing these coins so this is the first of the one centavo here they minted these at the Manila Mint. The Manila Mint originally was uh, a mint of the Spanish. When the Spanish government controlled the Philippines they had a mint called the Casa Moneda or the House of Money and it issued gold coins in the Philippines. When the United States took over the Philippines in the Spanish-American War um, the, uh, they closed down the mint, but then in 1920 the Manila Mint was reopened and it was the first branch of the United States Mint that was ever minted U.S. coins outside of the country of the United States. And it was in Manila, and that's why we have the M here. In 1925, uh, the mint began putting the M's on coins. And this 1937 coin from the Philippines was minted in Manila at the Manila Mint. Now if we go back over to the front we see what fine, super fine kind of condition this is in. This is probably extra fine or better just because of the age. But if we look, look how much detail there is in the mountains. So this is Mount Mayon, the volcano, but you can actually kind of see some of the trees and rocks and shrubs here. If we look at the bottom, you can see the bones in the man's ankle. You can see his fingers very clearly, the hammer, the shorts. Uh, you can actually even see his hair as it flows back a little bit here. This is just a great coin. It says one centavo on the top. It says Filipinas down here. Now, of course, it's with the F uh, for Filipinas, not the P, Filipinas, which came later. This coin is a bronze coin. It was minted from 1937 to 1944. And from 1937 to 1941, it had the Manila mint mark. It was not produced in 1942 and 1943 because the Philippines had been taken over by the Japanese. When the Japanese invaded, these coins were not produced. They weren't produced again until 1944. And in 1944, um, they, in order to jumpstart the Philippine economy, they printed uh, or minted these coins, but they minted them at the San Francisco Mint. So I'll show you. See the S there? So this is a 1944, and we'll do another video on that. But this, so this mint mark, this M mint mark on here, only was on these coins from 1937 until 1941. No coins were produced in 42 and 43. And then in 44, they went to the S mint mark because they were trying to uh, jumpstart the Philippine economy. Uh, they couldn't get all the raw materials to the Philippines in time to mint the coins in 1944. So what they did was they minted them in the U.S. in 44. But this is the first of them. The 44 was the last of them. And uh, this is just a beautiful coin. They made 15.79 
million of these in 1937, and it's probably worth a dollar or two to a U.S. collector. I'm not sure how much it's worth in the Philippines, but I think it's a beautiful coin. This one's in beautiful shape. Again, I want to thank Twin City Gold for letting us use this coin, and we'll send it right back to them after we get done with it. Have a great day from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel.